morning, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to another vlog. Just finished a leg day. The deed is done for the day. And now I'm gonna go shower. <laughs> All right, I've showered, I blow dried my hair. I actually spritzed in some of that Kristen S hair water that I mentioned in the last video that I bought and it kind of added a little bit of like nice soft texture to it. I'm kind of I'm kind of happy to let it chill and hang out, but I wanted to show you the outfit I've been wearing. Uh, for well, this is the fourth day. This is the fourth day I'm wearing this outfit and I also want to note that when I wear baggy pants like this, I don't actually do up the bodysuit. So if anyone's like, wow, that's really nasty, just know it's fresh down there. <laughs> but last week I had actually ordered this sweater on Revolve, bless their one day shipping, but I bought the like brightest and most colorful sweater that I could possibly find. And I'm obsessed with it. And I've been wearing this every day. This is a little free people sweater. I, it's so cute. It's so colorful. It's so fun. I put my A Goldie Rianne bodysuit underneath it. And then these are my loose kind of like, what do you call it? Like paper bag? I don't know. They're baggy jeans from A Goldie. They have these fun little weird details on the back, but um, this is the outfit I've been wearing every day and I'm obsessed with it. So there's a little OOTD for you on this fine day. I just slapped on my skincare. I did my the, the Tatcha lineup that I've been loving. And now I need to go get my nails done. They are, woof, 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 They are grown out, my friends, and they are just too long. They are at the point where it's too long to function normally. So I'm gonna bring you along, get my nails done. I'm gonna do the same thing. This is the IBD gel, but I'll show you a little, well, we'll do a little nail sequence. Come along, friends. Let's go to the salon. <laughs> the sweet, sweet soul who does my nails. Um, I was like, Dwee, I need to go a little bit shorter. And he was like, no. <laughs> They're still quite long, but they are fresh. And that is all that matters. Uh, I love it. Um, I tried to take some clips when I was getting my nails done, um, but they still have like the, the screens, the plastic screens that are in the way. And it's just like really cloudy. So hopefully that showed a good glimpse of what I get done. But yeah, still just doing that little IBD gel, get it in the shade pink and it's great. <laughs> I got home from my nails and I have just been taking a little computer admin moment and just trying to deal with some things. Dan and I are actually headed out of town tomorrow, so I'm gonna need to pack. We'll, we'll be packing together, my friends. But in the meantime, I actually wanted to show you guys, this is just an update because one of our last vlogs was uh, a failed home update and <laughs> Unfortunately, I have another one that I need to show you. You can actually see it in the background. Um, but since the last vlog, there has been a home update. And if you remember, if you recall from a, a previous vlog, we had purchased Ollie, our beautiful fake olive tree. And it's been hilariously sitting there without a pot. And so we tried to find a pot, a vase, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I tried my best, like I thought I was doing well in the measurement front and um, I ordered a vase and it came in and it was just massive, <laughs> absolutely massive. So I'll show you guys, always let me know your opinion, um, but I'll show you the funny uh, blunder 2.0 of my attempt at decorating our home. <laughs> so here is the pot in all of her glory, Ollie the olive tree. Now the tree is actually not that tall and it looked even more funny when it first came in. I just thought like now it's kind of okay and it's growing on me. Uh, I still need to work on the mirror and what we're going to end up doing in terms of decorations. We're still going to try and fiddle with it and then this is the plant pot. So what's really funny with this, the pot was way too big in relation to how tall the tree was. So we actually just put a giant box. <laughs> underneath the plant so that it sits taller and just trying to make it look a little bit more aligned you know what i mean anyway this is new in in the living room the little pot for ollie the yellow tree it is growing on me and so is the mirror the mirror has been growing on me so many of you have sent us amazing decor recommendations for like how to decorate the mantle to make the mirror look less off-putting uh, a lot of them have been like flower arrangements, vases. There's been some like candlesticks, um, a lot of amazing options. You guys are, are incredible. So thank you so much for, for sharing your Pinterest world with us. We really appreciate it. And I just, yeah, we haven't fiddled with it yet, but that's an update fam. Ollie the olive tree has a home. Let us know what you think. <laughs> so we're gonna be vlogging on this, on this trip. And uh, I didn't wanna give everything away because I feel like you know, I can show you things that I packed when we're there and vlogging, but 
We're only gone for a week, so I tried to be super minimal with my outfits, and I've just like put it all in the carry-on. And then Dan and I are sharing a one check-in bag just to bring like liquids and things and makeup and all that. I know Dan is gonna say something, and I'm sure some of you will tell me to get a shoe bag, but just please accept this for what it is. Uh, this is my, my current carry-on. I've got my little sneaky sneaks in here, obviously, Abercrombie dad jeans. And then I just packed a couple of different top options. I'm basically planning on wearing the jeans the whole time. I've got my black Burberry trench coat that I'm gonna wear on the plane with my gray sweatsuit and I'm wearing my black combat boots. I put workout stuff and like underwear and socks and whatnot in a cube on the other side and I have another little jacket just in case. Like the weather is, yeah, it's pretty much the same as BC. It's like eight degrees and rainy where we're going. So I might also pack a scarf just in case, but other than that, keeping it super minimal. I just need to discuss with Dan how we're gonna pack our, our other suitcase, but basically just putting all my toiletries in there and that'll be it. Okay, so in the bathroom, I packed up all of my toiletries and things. I have all of my skincare and hair care in this lovely little LMA Studios bag. And then I also put all my makeup and I, I washed my brushes put that all in here. And then I always bring a little, like I call it my emergency bag, if you will. But I always bring a smaller bag with me on the plane because usually like all of this, like I can't bring that in a carry on. So like in here, I have a toothbrush and toothpaste. I've got some little wet wipes. I have my face cream. I have a travel size of my face cream, hand sanitizer, lip balm, tissues, hand cream. Um, I also bring like my medicine in here just in case it gets lost. I have my, oh my God, my Bose sleep buds. Can't live without those. I also have a Tylenol. It's kind of just like an emergency kit slash on long haul flights. I like to brush my teeth when I'm on the plane, especially because of my Invisalign. And I just like to have some stuff with me. So that's what I'm packing. I have a few travel size perfumes that I'm bringing. And then for jewelry, like I'll usually just wear my jewelry onto the plane and not worry about packing it up. And that's what I've got. So I'm gonna put those in the suitcase. Okay, so another thing I wanted to note that I'm packing, pack the protein. This is a little travel bag of my chocolate smooth protein powder. This is necessary and I'm sure someone will make fun of me, but I'm also packing a shaker. And in the shaker, I actually put my daily vitamins. Wait, this is cute. This is something worth mentioning. This is my little like weekly vitamins. I got these little cute cases on Amazon and they have the days of the week on them. I don't actually follow it. I just, you know, open it up in sequence, but I put all of my little daily vitamins that I take in there to make sure that I'm keeping up with it, especially with travel jet lag. Gotta keep the health on top, you know? And I just put that like in the shaker. Not that it matters. It would have fit absolutely without it, but. <laughs> And then I'm putting that in a little baggie. I also have our super sleep, super sleep that we get at Costco. So that's all going in this lovely little bag. I'm sure Dan will add his stuff in here as well. But that's going in there with the makeup and the skincare. I've packed my hairbrush and I actually like, this is gonna be a little experiment, but I'm not bringing any hair tools. I figured I'd just continue on with my kind of like heatless hair January that I was doing. Uh, I packed a few small little elastics to just do some braids if I wanna do waves, but I think I'm just gonna just leave it pretty casual. So I'm not fussing about hair tools, which is nice and actually saves a lot of space. <laughs> okay, and then for books, I'm actually so torn. I am currently reading Such a Quiet Place by Megan Miranda. I'm about halfway through this. I'm thinking like it's too bad because I think I'm gonna finish this pretty quick. Like I, I feel like I'd finish it on the plane going there and I always hate that. And I wish I had just finished it beforehand so I could just start a new book and then not have like dead weight of a, a finished book. You know what I mean? So I'm undecided if I'm actually gonna bring this or if I'm just gonna start a new one, which so many of you, so many of you for years actually have recommended this series to me, the Mistborn series. I did buy the little three pack and I'm thinking I'll pack books one and two. A lot of you have said to start reading the Throne of Glass series, which I did pick up the whole box set. I know Jamie Genevieve has been raving about it, um, but a lot of you also said that the first couple books are kind of poo and that it picks up like later on in the series. So I don't know if that's like something I wanna read on the plane and like be bored with, you know? So I'm gonna pack this one. Yeah, maybe I'll just make an executive decision. I'm gonna not pack this one. I'm gonna pack books one and two. And then for other entertainment, I've also downloaded season three of Yellowstone. So that's most likely what I'll be watching on the flights. <laughs> and that's pretty much gonna be it for, for entertainment.
the upload of campaign. Please remain seated. Time to prepare for the job. Welcome to Copenhagen. We just got in. I am a delirious little jet lagged mess. It was a 20 hour journey getting in, but we are so excited. We just got into the hotel room and it is what? It's 1.26 p.m. local time here, which is, what is that, 5.30 a.m. Vancouver time? We've been up all day, we've been up all night, but we are ready to go and explore. I have never been to Copenhagen. Dan has been here a number of times, and so he can show me all the sights, but uh, we are in our hotel on the river. The view is spectacular, and I'm so excited to be here and bring you guys along. It has been a hot minute since I've vlogged. I'm just gonna put some makeup on because honestly, I just need to inject some life back into my soul. So I'm gonna do a quick makeup. So we are here in Copenhagen to explore, obviously. Like I have always wanted to come to Denmark and I am so excited. I follow so many fashion bloggers who live in Copenhagen. Sorry, the sun is coming in and out very strongly. <laughs> Everyone here just looks so fabulous and I'm so excited to witness and uh, just do a good old city stroll. And then Dan actually has a lot of family who live in Malmo, Sweden and Copenhagen is like the closest airport to go there. So we're actually spending a few days in Copenhagen and then we're also gonna be in Malmo for a few days. We're gonna cross the little bridge or the train, whatever it is, and hop on over to Sweden for a few days. And yeah, we're here to explore and see Dan's fam. So it's just gonna be a nice little wholesome, lovely trip. Yeah, I'm gonna put, put this little face on and we will head out and see where the day takes us. However, I mean, listen, I am a, an, I'm a baby. I'm an absolute baby when it comes to jet lag, so I don't know how long this little high is gonna last. <laughs> I always get so excited when I come to a new place and it's been so long since I've been to a new place, a new country, a new city. I, I just feel so grateful and so excited to be traveling again. So yeah, anyway, I'm on this little like, woohoo, excited high, but I might like crash by <laughs> by like 4 p.m. <laughs> and we'll see how the jet lag affects us, but let's go explore. Okay, my makeup is done. I put on the Chanel number no. five Lively Rosewood blush, Victoria Beckham Cherie lip stain, and I'm all bundled. We are bundled and we're gonna go wander in this beautiful sunshine. Good morning. We just finished brunch at Wolf and Con Constali. I was about to say Wolf and Constantine. <laughs> Wolf and Constali. It was so good. You, it's like a, you get a little paper when you walk in and you choose either five or seven items and, and they bring it on a little tray and it was amazing. Only one person recommended it to us, uh, but it was the closest one and you also didn't need a reservation. Um, a few other places that people recommended for brunch were fully booked. so. Uh, really happy we got to try it. It was very cute in there. And now we're actually headed to Anderson Bakery, which everybody, everybody recommended to us. We're so excited to try it. Apparently, I don't remember what they said it was called, but apparently there's some like cake competition going on right now. And everyone's been recommending the, the pastries and cardamom buns or cardamom twists from Anderson Bakery. So we're gonna head there now and get a little sweet treat to finish off our breakfast. left Anderson Bakery and came back to the hotel just to <laughs> grab some water, wash our hands, and we're actually gonna head to go see the palace now. So if you've been following me for a long time, you'll probably know this, but whenever I head to a city or a place that has anything remotely castle related, I am there. I absolutely love I love medieval history. I love seeing ancient ruins. I love seeing castles. I, I'm, I'm obsessed with all of that architecture and history and I love to learn about it. And I am thrilled to see how many castles and well, palaces are in the city. We're gonna go to Christianburg Palace now. And then there's also Rosenberg Palace. And that is one of my favorite things to do when traveling. It's been so long since I have seen anything remotely related to a castle or a palace. And I'm so excited. So excited to go see. Dan's kind of not as into castles as me, but he's a, he's a trooper for going along with my obsession. So let's head 
to the palace. So we've just finished our tour. We went into the reception rooms, we went into the ruins, and then we also just saw the kitchens. The, the lovely man at the start didn't tell us that, well, here we are, we're in front of the royal stables. We bought a ticket to see the royal stables and he didn't tell us that the royal stables were closed until April. So anyway, we don't get to see the stables, but here's the outside. It was absolutely exquisite so stunning inside this palace it is a, a new build but my word it was amazing my favorite room was the library the library was absolutely breathtaking if you will so the the lovely gal who was in the royal kitchens told us that the the other palace what was it called it starts with an a sorry i'm gonna have to google it there's another palace apparently where the actual family resides and apparently there's an exhibition of the Queen's Jewels going on right now. So like, do we run over there and go see it? I don't know. But anyway, that is our tour of the palace. Absolutely incredible. Good morning, everyone. Before I chat this morning, I just wanted to acknowledge this, this fact that I am absolutely fascinated by. Our hotel room has this beautiful, beautiful view of the river here in Copenhagen. And there appears to be a little plunge pool along the boardwalk. Right there. And all day long, no matter what time it's been, we've been here in the morning, we've been back in the afternoon, and we've been here in the evening. People are doing a cold plunge into the river all day long. They just roll up there, they bring a towel, they're jumping it, jumping into this little plunge hole <laughs> into freezing water in the middle of winter. I am absolutely fascinated. I am such a wuss when it comes to cold things like cold showers, cold water. Mm -mm, you will never catch me doing a little cold plunge. I don't know, like maybe I need to do it to uh, strengthen my character, but I just wanted to say I bow down to the people of Copenhagen doing these cold plunges in this freezing cold river. It's blowing my mind. Anywho, good morning. I wanted to say hello because really we didn't like speak a lot to the camera yesterday, but we had the most beautiful day. We went, we actually ended up going to the three palaces, the three castles, if you will. We started at Christenburg, which we vlogged a lot of. Then we went to Rosenberg Castle, which out of the three was my personal favorite. Um, we didn't actually vlog a lot in there because it was so busy. Like the Christenburg Palace was massive. Like there was so much space. You really didn't notice a lot of other people, but the Rosenberg Palace was a lot smaller and it was so busy there were so many people on the tour so i just like couldn't avoid people in a clip you know what i mean anyway it was much older like it seemed to be much more well preserved and it was just fabulous and that's where the treasury was oh my god we took a couple of clips of the crowns because they were amazing and you can get like right up and close right into the glass and like stare into the the jewels the magic that was this treasury and that was really, really cool. And then we actually ended at the, I don't, I'm, I for sure I'm like butchering these names, but the, the final one was the Amalienburg Palace. And that one was a little, like just for my personal taste was a little bit anticlimactic because it was like an exhibition of the queen's jewels, which was super cool to see, but there wasn't like much else in terms of like the actual palace itself. So if I were to rank the three, it would be Rosenberg, Christianburg, Amalienburg. And then we were strolling around trying to find food, which doesn't exist. Like truly, truly so many, if not every restaurant that we've like tried to go to, they truly take a little siesta in the afternoon and they close until dinner. So it was like four o'clock when we were done all of our tours and walking around and we couldn't find anywhere for dinner. So we actually ended up just coming back to the hotel. We ate here at the hotel and then we passed out. Jet lag got the best of us and we were in bed and dead 
at 6 p.m. and we proceeded to have a very in and out napping kind of sleep throughout the night and got up this morning feeling very, very jet lag heavy, but we just hit up the gym in the hotel, had a little leg day, had a little steam. There's a steam room in the gym, which was so nice. And we're showered and ready to begin this lovely day. So there's our recap of yesterday. We had 14 kilometers of walking on our watch. It was a very, very lovely stroll. And I just have to say like of all the things, like I, I'm sure there's like so many more things that we can actually be doing activity wise in the city, but it's just one of the most beautiful cities that I've ever witnessed. And it is just such a joy and pleasure to walk around. Like every single building is just gorgeous. And we were just eating it all up as we were strolling around. So it was a really, really beautiful day and looking forward to doing more of the same this morning. So I'm gonna get ready. I wanted to show you guys what's in my little travel makeup bag because I really didn't pack very much makeup wise on this trip and wanted to wanted to show you. We'll get ready and then we're gonna head for breakfast. So for a base, I actually made a really risky move and I <laughs> packed the, the new Chanel foundation and also the serum spray. And I hadn't tried it before, it was literally in the box and I packed it. I'm like, I'm just gonna use this opportunity to test it fully. So this is what I've been wearing and testing. It's actually a really great shade match for me right now. And I'm gonna start with the little serum spray, which to be honest, like let's, let's be frank here. The prices of these products are up there. They are at the tippity tip top. There are many beautiful products that do the same, but I just wanted to test it out for curiosity's sake. So that's what I've been, um, oh, sorry, that's what I've been wearing. But uh, on the base, I actually put the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Serum and the Magic Cream. This was from a little holiday kit that I had, which was perfect and nice and small. I'm just gonna do another little layer of the cream, actually, now that I've sprayed the serum spray on, because I don't know what, I think maybe just the heat in the hotel, I don't know, but Dan and I are both so, so dry, travel and whatnot, but yeah, it's really, really dry ironically, because this seems to be a very lovely wet place. But we have been so lucky with weather. It has been sunshiny and gorgeous the entire time. We have not seen an ounce of rain, which has been, we just feel very lucky. It's been such a beautiful, beautiful couple of days so far. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and put the foundation on. Just putting a little bit in my hand. It's got a really strong, like fruity scent. It's not off-putting by any means, but it's definitely there. Like you smell it, you know? I can't see myself. I'm doing this in the viewfinder, so please forgive. <laughs> but just putting that all over, it just feels like nice and light, very natural finish. Um, it's been lasting really well. Um, it's also very, very windy here. So the entire day as we're walking around, we're just being like buffeted by the wind. Uh, and considering that fact, the foundation has lasted very, very nicely on the skin throughout the day. Ooh. I'm just gonna take my little beauty blender and pat that in. I haven't wet the beauty blender, I've just left it dry. <laughs> just doing a nice little layer of this. Then next up in the bag, naturally I packed my Makeup Forever concealer and I've just been taking a super small amount of this, of the lighter one and just highlighting a little bit and making sure to get some under the eyes. We've got a nice little friend up here but I'm just gonna ignore her for the day. And just let her live her best life. For contour and bronzer, I actually packed my little minis from my Beachy Nudes kit with nude sticks. So I have my Bondi Bay bronzer and the Bubbly Bebe highlight, which I haven't even been putting the highlight on, to be honest. I've literally just been doing Bondi Bay and taking a little bit. These are the perfect little travel size products. And I am in my full pale zone. So Bondi Bay is actually a nice lighter shade, which is perfect for that. Sticking a little bit around. And then when I get to a hotel, I always put my brushes in a cup. <laughs> These are the brushes I packed. My Smith 157 brush, naturally. I'm just gonna blend out the Bondi Bay. So then for blush, I also packed the Chanel blushes. I've been loving these so much. This one's the shade number five, Lively Rosewood. And I've just, um, I've actually been putting it with my fingers, but I kind of want to apply it with the K. Jane Hughes 8 brush, just to see. Let's testy test. I just love this color. It's a beautiful, beautiful like berry shade. I'm just gonna, oh, you know what? I need the mirror. I need to see what I'm doing here. It's super glossy and juicy, and that's kind of why I've not been putting the, the highlight on, because it's so glossy and sheeny itself. 
no, this brush, this brush does not function for this application very well, I don't think. I think it just puts the most lovely berry flush. Love this one. So that's what I've been wearing on the cheeks. And then I will fill in my brows. I packed my Dior Brow Styler and the Benefit Clear Brow Gel. I'll just run this through my brows nice and quick like. And then for the lips, I packed my Victoria Beckham Beauty Bitten Lip Tint in the shade Sherry, which I think in my opinion, goes very nicely with this blush. And you guys, like, I don't know what happened, but I had all of my makeup laid out on the table that I was packing, I was putting it in the bag, and somehow I forgot to pack my lip liner, which is just, it was a very sad realization, but I'm also very excited to uh, pick up some makeup here that I have never tried before, some brands that we like don't have access to in Canada, so I will definitely be grabbing a lip liner, but yes, I forgot my lip liner and I don't know who I am anymore. <laughs> But the stain is nice because it also just, you know, stains and puts a line there anyway. But yeah, I really love this color and I've just been putting it on and then I don't have to worry about it through the day. Like it puts a nice little stain on your lips and then, you know, because it's been like super windy, it's dry, it's cold, it's winter. <laughs> I can just put my lip balm on throughout the day and there'll still be a little bit of lingering color there. So this is a really nice, easy travel option. And then my Lancome Lashy Doll Mascara. And then I've got my Charlotte Tilbury powder here. I've just been taking like a tiny, tiny little bit of this and just putting it right underneath the eyes just to help prevent any mascara transfer. And then just on my eyelids as well. So there's no creasing of the concealer there, but that's pretty much been it. Again, I'm feeling very dry, so the powder isn't crucial at this time. And with that, that's everything in my little travel makeup bag. That's been the very, very much more natural makeup that I've been doing so far on the trip. So that's the makeup all done. I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed. We're gonna go find some breakfast and enjoy another lovely day of strolling and see what else we see. Get some great food and just see some beautiful sights in this lovely city. So let's head out. I don't know if you can see it around the corner, probably not. But anyway, we tried going to Atelier September, which was a top, top recommendation from many of you but it was super busy in there. And they also like, I don't know, it was like avocado toast, hard boiled egg, and a porridge. We want, we want a feast, we want a breakfast feast. So literally right next door we came to this place called Mojo's. Very cute little patio we're sitting outside. Heaters, they have blankets. We're just gonna get a little breakfast feast. So. Where did we leave you? Oh, we finished our shopping day. We were at Ilum, 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 the beautiful, beautiful department store, but just had a good long stroll back to the hotel. We really quickly like just got ready for dinner. I just changed out of my black turtleneck. I put some different layers on, put the toque on. And then we've been, I like I know I showed this this morning when we went, but we got the bikes again, the little lime bikes. And we took the little bike to Delphine and that's where we had dinner tonight and it was so, oh my god, it was so good. I posted on stories like a thousand out of ten. We had like the prawns, we had octopus, oh my god, it was amazing. It was so, so worth it. And we had a cheeky little cocktail and we just biked back. But I oh. wanted to vlog our little biking adventure at night, um, but it's so cold I couldn't possibly... <laughs> Hold the camera on the bike. <laughs> but just so you know, Delphine, amazing. If you're ever in Copenhagen, that is a must. Thank you so much to all who recommended it. It was it was so, so good. Uh, tomorrow is actually our last day in Copenhagen. So we're going to be ending the vlog tomorrow, but we're starting the day nice and bright and early. We're going to take the bikes out again and head for breakfast to another top recommended spot and probably just continue our little shopping strolling journey, honestly, because uh, all the stores, like other than the department store, like today is Sunday and everything was closed. Like I wanted to go check out the Acme Studios store. I wanna go to the Rotate Burger Christensen store and it was all closed today. I had no idea that everything was um, shut on Sunday. So we'll continue the adventure right now. What's it called, Dan? What are we mm -hmm. inventing, Anna? Dan and I are gonna start inventing Anna tonight. We're gonna watch that and head to bed. We'll see you tomorrow, fam. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. It is our last 
Last day in Copenhagen, we have done our workout for the morning. We have showered. I wore my hair in braids last night to get just a little, little bit of a wave going. And we're gonna go have our last kind of morning in the city. We are leaving at, well, our checkout's at 2 p.m. And then we're actually going to Malmo, Sweden, to go see Dan's family. That's why we decided to spend a few days here sleeping off our jet lag, oh, or at least attempting to. And then we're gonna go hang out with his fam. And yeah, I just wanted to vlog while we were in Copenhagen, obviously, and explore this beautiful city. So our plan this morning is to get back on the bikes. We're gonna get back on the line bikes. And I actually don't know how it's pronounced. I'll have to see when we're there. Um, but this breakfast place, again, another another top recommendation, uh, is a, it's 012, but the O has a line through it. So I'm not sure like what the proper pronunciation is, but it's 012 and it's a little bit further away, that's why we're gonna take the bike. And then we also wanna check out Juno Bakery, which along with Anderson Bakery was a top, top recommendation. So we're gonna try to hit both. And then, as we said yesterday, just do a couple of bits of shopping after that. And then that will be our time in Copenhagen. So it's a beautiful, it's actually, it's overcast, it's cloudy, but it's still such a beautiful day. People are still dunking in this tube, this hole in the river. <laughs> and we're gonna head out grab some breakfast. which we will be absolutely coming back to this fabulous city. We'll have to try Juno another time. And then we caught the train to Malmo. We love you, Copenhagen. You're beautiful. Sorry for the windy sound. LOL. Thanks for watching this video, everyone. And we'll see you all very soon for a new one. Bye!